Hi, in this lesson we will be discussing about objects and classes in R and we know that that object when we introduce object it is being an object programming uh, object oriented programming and R as has been classified and has been qualified into a object oriented programming language where we can create objects we can where we can create classes and then we can take use of these objects and classes in order to uh, maximize our code in order to maintain our code in or to improve our code readability so uh, we have some function which we had studied in the previous lesson but now to in order to calculate in order to have a uh, code re readability uh, developers had introduced objects and classes to to make the code structured a bit more as compared to the uh, function but here in objects and classes function are being used variables are being used loops and the conditional statement are being, are being used this is an advanced concept and this our language is being providing us this advanced concept as well so class in object a basic concept of uh, OOP object oriented programming that revolve around real life entities and in a, in R everything is an object and uh, an object is a simply a data structure which saves some data which have some uh, methods and attributes and a class the blueprint so what does it means that if um, my 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 dad is a class and all those attributes and all those functionalities which my dad possesses may, I may also have and I also have my own uh, attributes as well but I uh, inheritedly I own some of the attributes and I own some of the key uh, key values it from my father and my mother so this is a class is a blueprint and we can initiate uh, from a single class we can initiate some many objects and then we can take uh, advantage of those many objects in this uh, in this programming world so R is being provided as the OOP mechanism and here we have R classes and the unlike most other uh, programming language R has three class system we have S3, S4 and the reference classes and then uh, the, the issue is that that uh, the most commonly used is S4 and the reference class uh, because it is more nearer towards the development side of OC++, .NET, Java and so on and so forth. So S3 is the simplest uh, yet the most popular system and it lacks formal uh, definition structure. So what does it mean that we had initialized a list named Iron Man, we have a lead Actor, robot uh, Donnie and Junior and then here we had created a class uh, giving a name to the, your class so what does it mean we have initiated the class movie list and that this, this movie list uh, movie is the object of this class and then when we are move, uh, having the movie list it will give us the output that Iron Man and Robot Donnie's journey so in S3 system method doesn't don't belong to the class so this is the differentiation in C++ or in, in Java in .NET we know that the functions or the methods are a part of class and we have getters and setters for that and big but in S3 system this is the simplest function we don't have method inside the class but we can use those methods in order to uh, check that data or in order to play with that data so uh, uh, and this is the uh, overall mechanism that's why S3 is not so much popular as compared to S4 and the reference classes then we have S4 classes programmers of other languages C++ Java might find S3 to be very much different than their normal idea of classes because uh, it is not providing the function or the method inside the classes but S4 is a slight improvement of S3 and it has the it, it gives us the liability it gives us the package to structure uh, our data and structure our objects and add those uh, we can say that add those Fi uh, function inside the class so here we are using the library method and then we have the set class movies slots we are here we have slots list we have character and lead actor these are the uh, parameters uh, towards uh, this uh, this object and then now i am using a object a new uh, uh, 
command or a keyword to create an object and passing class name and the slot value so that we can fetch those results so we have a new we have movies here and then the name is iron man lead is the robot uh, downey uh, junior we have a movie list and all those values are being translated are being printed once we had created any object as shown in the above one set exact class is used to define a class and new is used to create the object so let's implement these two before moving towards the uh, reference class and here we have the s3 class also so what does it mean that s3 class we have movie list and then this movie list is being initialized and then here we have lead actor is equal to robot journey and class is equal to movie and we have the name of the movie is iron man so here we don't have uh, we just had initialized this and then we are just taking those values and outputting them for a simple structure and for a simple uh, initializing of a class we can use s3 class but in s4 let's have this and here we had make those classes and then the all those by the help of new parameter we had initialized a new uh, object of movies class and then with the help of this we had passed the character and the lead actor uh, name also and then i am wanting it to pr uh, print that and it has printed when the slot name is iron man and the lead actor is robert uh, downey jr then we can have a reference class also and it is a further improvement of s4 and here the methods belong to the classes so we can say that this is the much similar way towards the object oriented uh, classes of other languages so what does it mean that if i ha i am a developer of c++ if i am a developer of .net i am a developer of uh, anything uh, python so reference class is that class which resembles me uh, resembles me in a much fruiter way in a much quicker way uh, as compared to s3 and s4 so because uh, a reference class is nearly close towards the actual object oriented programming which is being led in the java python dot net and the other trending languages so here we are having a uh, here we don't have slot we have fields here and then we use set ref class instead of set class so what does that mean that we have set reference class we have movies the fields are their name lead actor character and uh, rating and you can see that, that we can pass many inputs many parameters according to our business use case so we have movies here and then in this movies i had initialized this movies here we don't need any new uh, uh, keyword we just have the movies and the name is iron man we had passed the uh, pa uh, values toward this rating and now i want this to be happen this in this uh, environment so let's have this and I guess this will uh, maybe this will give us some error so let's have yes this is an error so I had search over the web and it says that please initialize a new session for that and once the new session is being built in uh, this error will be resolved because it has been totaling towards over the uh, uh, first, uh, first one so we have initialized uh, a session here and i had used this session in the earlier so this is being uh, printed here and pasted here so let's have control plus enter and then yes this is being given as the iron man lead robert junior rating is equal to seven so with the help of this reference class we can initialize some of the uh, parameters to that we can have these uh, we can initialize some fields to that we can add some method to that in order to take the fullest advantage of our uh, uh, object oriented programming in R but specifically if we say that R is not being designed for our object oriented uh, language it is being designed for statistical language and in the bigger organization and at the data science level many developers which are using who are using R are only using for data cleaning statistical analysis or for the distribution plot and so on and so forth but at the actual level the coding is being provided from the python packages from the java packages from the c++ packages because it is more uh, easier 
easier as compared to R for in the object oriented space so uh, this is a, just a package just a know how that how we can use object oriented OOP programming in R so this is just a introduction over all the OOP mechanism then moving forward we have our object and every programming language has its own data type and uh, to store values or information so that the user can assign these data type to variable and make use of that so uh, we have data types uh, of the character long integer float but, and these uh, data types are being associated with the memory and then in for example in C language when I initialize uh, a character uh, A, B, C, D, E, a single character, one byte of the memory is being assigned towards that variable and if I am initializing a uh, variable integer so it will be two or four bytes of memory and double has many bytes of memory float has many bytes of memory initialized against each of every uh, variable so here r is being uh, unlike other programming languages uh, variables assigned to object rather than data types in r so we have some of the objects in r and we will be having those objects uh, in order to check that value so we have vectors then we have lists we have arrays matrices and we have another data frame uh, towards that so what does it mean that we have vectors and uh, one of the basic types of object in R programming and atomic vectors can store homogeneous data so what does homogeneous data mean that the data should be of same type so if I am initializing an integer so all values will be integer so if I am initializing of character all values will be of character and here we are having this uh, creating uh, vector and let's implement this in a nice ID so we have x we have initialized c1234 we have y and then we are printing this so here let's have this x and control plus enter it is giving us the x should be 1234 yes 1234 and x class x is numeric for y it is printing me all the values of y and then it is printing me the class of the what is the vector class so it is character class of because it has a b c and d and we have five values and the class is numeric so with the help of these we can initialize the vectors also then moving forward we have list and it is a, but a bit complex topic but uh, we will be understanding this with a short example that we have initialized a list here and we have five values red green we have initialized this as and it is a heterogeneous data type and here let's have a uh, the list, list can contain heterogeneous data types such as vectors or and the list so we can have we can in this list we can have a string values also we can have a boolean value also we can have a float value also we can have a whole array of the values also so this is the li list advantage that we can store heterogeneous data also so we have list data we had initialized these values in a list and then I am giving the list uh, print list uh, data and then let's have this and we have the all those values so what does it mean that at first location we have red at the second location we have green at the third location we have 21 32 and 11 at the fourth location we have true value fifth and sixth we have 51.23 and 119.1 so all those values are being printed in a nice uh, ui uh, mechanism so let's have this and list data and here this is the, a bit complex example but let's introduce this like if we had initialize a matrix and this uh, or we can initialize a list here and then this list has been translated with this or we can say that this list ha has been bind towards this to give the elements of the uh, names of those elements the list when we have passed print list data it will give us this output so what does it mean that in first quarter this is the first quarter and this that first quarter all those values are being mapped so at first quarter we we can have Jan Feb and March at the A matrix A we can have the a matrix a will be printed and all those metrics which will be having this we will be printing here we will be introducing the matrix in the and uh, later on of this uh, video so but just uh, introduce that that it has printed a matrix for us and then we have a inner list 
it had given us the a analysis and then it is giving us the green and at the first location it has green and at the second location it has giving us the 12.3 so with the help of list we can iterate over parallel uh, run those both lists and then with the help of these both lists we can we, uh, we can play with that data we can make a sense of that data now moving forward we have a matrix and what does it matrix means that if we go toward the documentation so it is a two dimensional 2d array and it is being used for the multiplication if we are using some mat uh, multiplication of uh, of matrices uh, or or in linear algebra the matrices are being very much used so in R we use we can use a matrix and then it is a number of rows uh, are defined matrix function so what does it mean that if we have this function X matrix and then this let's run this so what does the row mean so we we have two rows so it it will give us the two rows and then it will plot or it will assign those two rows inside these functions so what does it mean it that it will translate or it will transform all those values according to the two rows but if I am sending this three so it will assign all those values in in a third three row uh, organization so what does it mean that when when we have passed two rows it has been two by three matrix but but when we had passed row three so it has given us a three by two matrix so with the help of the matrix run over the n row parameter and then when the n row parameter is being changing this this matrix is being keep on changing with in order to uh, compensate this n row mechanism then we have an arrays and array is very much important concept to create n dimensional array uh, so we have in matrix we can create 2d but in uh, matrix arrays we can have 4 by 3 we can have 5 by 5 we can have 6 by 6 and so on so forth this function takes a dim attribute as an argument and create required length of each dimension as specified in the attribute so what does it mean let's have it here so this is the overall example and this is the oh yes so it it has given us the three matrices and all those three matrices are being initialized with this uh, example so we have three matrices and all are three by three uh, because the dimensions are equal and uh, all those values are being translated are being assigned according to this dim function in this array so when if we go toward this 3 3 4 so what does it means that it will change as the output and this is the output that it is giving us the 1 2 and 3 4 we have four matrices now and then all those friend four matrices have some values of 1 1 1 2 1 3 2 1 2 2 2 and 2 3 all those values are being mapped over the 1 2 3 uh, uh, parameters then the last is the data frame and data frames are a very very much quick object in Python also in R also and it is a table a tabular data and with the help of it can contain multiple columns and each column uh, represent a vector so all those when we are having those vectors we will combine those vector into our data frame and uh, we can play with that data in order to find minimum maximum in order to create some new features in order to uh, take uh, plot the distribution of that function and so on so forth so here we have the x and y we have a first variable uh, x i had initialized that please initialize this from 1 till 5 values then we have letters the letter will be 8 1 till 5 letters will be printed in y column and we have said we have all those values are being printed in the uh, C column also so we have data dot frame XYZ I had passed three vectors and then it is giving me the exact output such as control plus enter and yes the X is 1 till 5 Y is A B C D E N E 1 till 5 and then Z is the overall example and now we can say that that what is the uh, if, if I am go towards this Albert here also so let's have this here and 
yes Albert Ellie. Uh, so I can say that uh, uh, what is the frequent number of uh, person visited in our store. So this is the Albert person which has been uh, visited in our store, for example. So this, with the help of these data types, we can easily play with that data. And our priming gives us provides us an opportunity to use different uh, data structures such as matrices, lists data frame according to our use case in order to facilitate our data science journey and then this is the whole introduction over the objects and the classes in R and the data structure please go through this uh, uh, content it is comprehensive enough and it will give you a clear outlook about the objects and classes and the data structure used in R